Hey guys, it's uh, Bob here again. I hope y'all are uh, doing all right. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but um, yeah, I've been doing pretty good. I mean, I hope y'all are doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I honestly, um, yeah, I don't feel we have much time. So y'all yeah, just keep strong, keep focused on Jesus Christ. Keep reading your Bibles and stay strong. Cause I think we could be leaving at any moment. Um, that's how close I feel we are getting. Um, getting pretty close, I believe. Now, I want to let y'all know I did have a, uh, I, I've had, actually, I had several dreams last night, so, but some of them were, were kind of strange. I'm going to have to think and pray on them, but definitely some of the other ones I, I feel are more significant. Um, I had, I believe it was two or three nights ago. Um, and so those were very, a couple of very short couple of very short dreams and um essentially they um they uh okay so one of them had to do with one of our vehicles at home it's a old uh, old truck and it's uh it um it um hasn't actually well, I mean the, the engine turns over or it, it will actually move but it won't actually we haven't actually ran in and driven in, in a while and there's usually has trouble starting up, but yeah, that truck. So essentially, I had a dream where my um, my dad, I was at the side of the truck, so kind of more at the passenger uh, side door, and he was at the rear. And all of a sudden, the truck it started running by itself. And so it started up by itself. So I'm witnessing all this, and then my dad, he walk. I see him walk from the rear of the truck, the tailgate to the the, the driver's side, open the door and turn it off. And then he walks back, back to the rear tailgate again, and is standing there. And then my vision, it zooms into actually like the steering column, the ignition, you know, the ignition area. And I could see basically the key turning and the, the, the vehicle being started by itself. No one's in it. And so it starts up again by itself and boom, I wake up from that. Um, so I think that's pretty significant as that, that truck has a huge engine, uh, a very very large engine and it is a uh, pretty much the largest engine out of any of our cars we have and um you know i think the lord's saying this thing's getting ready to kick off it's getting ready to start and when it starts it's going to be loud just like that engine very loud very very large engine which is very loud so i think that's what the lord's saying things are getting ready to kick off um they're getting ready to kick off so we need to be prepared um i mean we have nothing to fear as long as we're with lord jesus nothing to fear he'll carry us through anything but we need to recognize that we are in the times where um things are going to start happening i believe in rapid succession before we leave a certain amount of things are probably going to happen we're probably going to see a certain amount of destruction and um you know we're going to have to let people know why this is happening these things start rolling out we're gonna have to let them know but i don't believe we'll see the worst of the worst because we're not pointing to um, god's wrath so we're not going to see the worst of the worst um but yeah so that one pretty much the truck started by itself that's basically telling me it started by itself this begins it's outside of man's control so the lord he is in complete control and it will not be stopped. So my dad turning it off the first time and then it starting up again shows me man has no control. He will, um, God's in complete control. So I felt that was pretty significant. It was very short. Um, and then the second dream, pretty short also. In that dream I was running. I was running pretty much a street that runs down from our house. I was uh, down this hill. I was running essentially um, up this hill and something was like almost pursuing, pursuing me. And there was this other guy, I don't know. It almost, it felt like something was pursuing us. I looked back behind down towards the creek, like something's coming. And so we're running up, running, running, running up towards the, um, towards the, um, towards I'm going back home. And so as I'm going back up this hill, towards my house this guy veers to the right up towards I guess his house so he's going towards his front door 
and I'm looking at him and yeah, he's heading indoors. And so now I'm like, I gotta get indoors. And so I, I keep running towards my house, which is at the top of this hill. And I, um, you know, as I get pretty close, then I, um, this part of the dream got a little more, I have trouble as much remembering, but I believe I started floating in the air, actually floating up. So floating up in the air as I was running up towards the, uh, towards my house. And so I'm pretty much, that, that's all I really remember. And then it ended there, but I'm pretty sure I was started floating up in the air. And so I believe the Lord's saying that is, you know, something's going to happen. I believe we may want to stay indoors with whatever happens. As I've said in some of my previous videos, we may want to, um, you're possibly going to want to be staying indoors depending on what happens. Um, and so as I'm running there, that's why I feel that represents something happens, running to go indoors and boom. So, so when that happens, whatever happens, soon after or in that time period we are going to be lifted up so as i was lifting up and saying we are going to be taken out of here but I, so i believe that's what that was saying what the lord was showing me but um yeah those were two i felt are very important i mean i've had other dreams just even last night they were kind of more strange i believe the devil may have been yeah playing tricks basically getting into those dreams um yeah i kind of had like an attack last night but, um, yeah, those other two, I felt those were, um, pretty solid from the Lord. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it, guys. Um, just want to let y'all know those two. And, uh, yeah, keep focused on Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus. Um, constantly repent, repent, repent. So very important. I find myself doing it a lot nowadays as we get closer and closer. I feel the urgency where I need to be constantly repenting. So we could be leaving at any moment. And, um, yeah, don't be, I mean, take, just stay focused, keep your eyes on the Lord. And I mean, hopefully, I mean, everything should work out. Goodbye.